your satanic. Make your melody to your maker. Make your melody to your lover. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. 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 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing those, saving those, saving those that were oppressed and compiled. Jesus has gone ahead of you. You are fighting for victory. Now is the time to press in. Now is the time to press in. Now is the time to press into the Father. Today is for pressing in. You have to become the miracle. Yes, 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 
it is sorted. Well, remember what we said about David. David has a heart that seeks after what God is seeking for. That's the difference. If you want to matter in the physical, your currency is not Naira. Your currency is not dollar. Your currency is not pounds. Your currency is spirit. Are you listening to me? Whether you belong to God or not, mankind deal in the spirit realm. Whether you're on God's side or not, those who are not on God's side that are with Babalawo, that are, they deal spiritually. They attack you in the spirit realm. They attack your dreams. They are not in your house, but they know what's going on in your house. Because there are several means to the spirit. All right? So you cannot. God has done everything. Jesus has done it. Now is your time to take position. If he calls you a son, you have to take your position as a son. If he calls you a son, you have to take your position as a son. If you are hearing me, I'm not saying daughter. Because those that are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Son means maturity, not gender. Do you understand me? So for you, the lady thinking, are they talking to me? If you want to take your position in the Spirit, you have to be his son. And if you want to be his son, you have to do what? Take your position in the Spirit. They can't be calling you son of God and you are still acting like a baby, like a stranger, like you don't know him. Are you listening to me? The world is wicked. You have to deal from the spirit. Those that you are going to get contract with, one debate. Don't be fooled. They are in one court or the other. Do you understand me? They are not coming. They are not dealing kindly. They come for war. You to come for war. Don't go there. You don't pray. You think they will hand it over to you. How? How? Some people want it tired, Jessile. For the same thing you are looking for. Want it by any come. For the same thing you are looking for. But you have the life of God in you. You have the spirit of God. It is not the spirit of somebody that God made. It is the spirit of God himself. The Holy Ghost. Same spirit that was in Christ Jesus lives inside of you. That spirit teaches you all things. Scripture says you have the mind of Christ and you know all things. If that spirit will lead Jesus into the wilderness, how do you think you will deal without that spirit? Who is telling you you can be a Christian without the spirit? And if you are here, you don't know how to pray in the Holy Ghost, it's a good time. Start by closing your eyes and saying, precious Holy Spirit, if you have received Jesus, fill me up. Don't look, what are they saying? What are they talking about? Kinira Bada Koshate is our language. Chinese people have their language. Yoruba have their language. Edo have their language. French, they have their language. Spirit, we have our language. Can spirit speak their language in this place? Hey! Hey! Can spirit speak their language in this place? You should not be shy of your language. You should not be shy of your language. And if you don't yet speak that language, say, Holy Spirit, fill me up. Close your eyes if he helps you. Focus on him. He's the one that can feel you. Unto
until you are filled with the Spirit, until you are led by the Spirit, you are not a son. You are not a son. So don't look about. Tell Holy Spirit, surrender to Him. Say, fill me up. 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 I want to run oh say fill me up till I overflow till I overflow Right now. 
Holy Ghost. I want your power. I want your spirit. I cannot do this life on my own. I have no power of my own. I have no ability of my own. You know the mind of Christ. You search everything. So I need you, Holy Ghost. 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 You have to desire him. You have to want him. You have to want him more than anything, more than anyone. I need you, Holy Ghost. I'm swimming in the ocean of the spirit. I'm pouring because I am filled to overflowing. We are swimming in the ocean of the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. We are pouring because we are filled to overflowing. Say, we are swimming. We are pouring, yeah, no more cause, cause we are filled to overflowing. 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 Eka pa ya ma ya na ma kose te, radi e kono mo si ata ya, rama ya ni na nos, rama ya ni na nos, e ya na kapa yes, se kusa ta yes, oh. Let him feel you, let him feel you, let him feel you, let him feel you. Hey, Satan, you can't do life on your own. Hey, Satan, hey, Ramos. Hey, come by, yes, Satan. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, Sados. And yeah, come by, Satan, and this. Hey, come by, hey, Sados.
Elijah, Elijah by Nasara, in Nagba, oh, oh, no, Maria, Maria, be all who bala, Araya, oh, oh, no, Mose, Mose, bow, Kunsara, oh, Kumba, oh, no, Elijah. Elijah by in a sorrow in a bar. Oh, a new Maria. Maria be all who bala arayo. Oh, a new me. Oh, go up on me, sir. Oh, a new Moses. Moses, bow up, sir. Oh, come back. Oh, a new Elijah. Elijah by in our Sarah, in number, oh, a new Maria. Maria be all of our life. Yeah, 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 Yeah! 
of babies why do we like to hold on to the promise of prosperity why do we pray with that one why don't we hold on to the promise of his spirit he says in the last days he didn't say I may he says I will so there is an outpouring and he says on all flesh I have said it it looks like a joke when your pet dog speaks the word of the Lord to you, then you'll be afraid. 
He said, all flesh. Please, what is on a dog? Is it not flesh? I'm asking you. Is it not flesh? Didn't an animal speak in the Bible? Eh? When you refuse to take your place, your dog will prophesy. <laughs> your dog will prophesy. Then you will understand why you need to rise up. For those that like cat, when your cat says, Thus says the Lord. <laughs> because human beings will not put their attention down to here. You can't stop God. Though. I know we've often heard that He can't do anything without us. I don't quite agree with that. If man will stand in his way, he will bypass man. Are you listening to me? He is God. He can't be tamed. Shongwami. He cannot be tamed. So if you are thinking, if I don't get up, he won't go do it without me. When the Bible says the rock will stand up. The trees, they talk of him. You say you will not talk. They say grow up, you say you will not grow. They say find spirit, you say you will not find spirit. Don't worry. Your cat will prophesy. My only consolation for you or my only concern is you might not live because if you see it, you might faint and from there die. Do you understand? Because it will be strange to you. It will be too much for you to take. So when they say to you, you need to see his face. You need to know his ways. You need to touch his grace. So you can leave his days. You need to see. they want is now a need. Say I say I need to see your face. I close your eyes, talk to him. It's not me you want to see. Yes. So I can leave your day. Like 
somebody the work of the Holy Spirit is to drive you to somebody the Holy Spirit drives you to Jesus Jesus is the written word so you are going to find yourself it's not just about praying in tongues you find yourself going into the word and searching if you want to see you want to know him you search the scripture Every time you engage the Holy Spirit, He takes you to Jesus. The Bible says His job is to glorify Jesus. And where He will take you is the Word. So that your eyes can be open. If you find yourself praying in the Holy Ghost for long, He will take you to the Bible. If you find yourself singing in the Holy Ghost for long, He takes you here. Because if you don't know what He's greeting, remember the Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. When he got there, what was tested from Jesus? What did the devil test in Jesus? He tested what is written, the word. So you cannot beat the devil by just crying. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? You can't beat the devil by just crying. When the devil came for Jesus, he came to test the word. He said it is written. Shebi, they say your angels will carry you. But Jesus, who is the word himself, said to him, come. You are not reading it complete. For everything you want to bring, I have made a provision to answer you. So the Holy Spirit will lead you to the word tonight. You find yourself at home searching the scriptures. <laughs> 
you are thinking of those children. He has given you the children. Are you listening to me? Let me tell you, it's happening without your effort. He won't call on Abashi. On loan shown bobo. No on bobo. So is, is it the baby? Take your mind off. It is done. This time, next year, you will hold your baby. Oh, I did not pray. I only said the word of the Lord. And if he be God, let him do his work. I'm not God. I'm not the healer. I'm not the supplier of babies. He is. And he says, take your mind off it. He is raining them. It's a rain of babies. This time next year, Pastor Joseph, when they carry the babies, we will give Jesus glory. You know, you and I will not take the glory. Yes. So leave the babies. Go home. Search the word. You see this thing that happened to you that you are scared that he carried you from your seat and landed you on the floor. He's to take you here. You find out that what happens to you is written. There's no sakamanje in our kingdom. There's no magic in our kingdom. This is the rule. This is the book. You don't read it, you don't grow. You can't even bycott it with music. So let's get our head straight. So if you're in church, you don't love the word, but you love worship, you have a problem. Are you listening to me? Hey, 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 am I talking to people? Why are you not talking? I'm not saying what you like. If you're in church and you say, I love singing, I love worship in songs, but you don't love the word. When they are studying the word, you are sleeping. You have a problem. Because everything comes out from the word. That's why the music writer said, when the music fades and the holy street away, and I simply know longing just to bring something that is of what that will bless your heart. And then he says, I'll bring you what is because for a song is not what? He likes songs, but he's looking for something more. You search if your songs and your words can mean the same thing, your heart is saying it, your mouth is saying it, then it makes sense. If that doesn't happen, you are just singing. Say I'm coming back home. surgical work he wants to do in you and he has done it and you need to go and read the word we are perishing for lack of knowledge this generation likes music more than the word of God everywhere you turn one new release another new release we don't even have time to chew one finish before another one comes 
But when they say, let's come for a word meeting, sit down and learn of Jesus, we don't like it. We sleep. But I know Pastor Joseph loves the word. And that's why I love this house. And they said, come dress to meet your lover. Some people's dressing doesn't, but it's okay. Beyond the dressing, he sees the heart. That's what we've said. Your best is not what looks best. Are you listening to me? Your best is not what looks best. There is somebody that weighs it. Huh? There is somebody that does what? Weighs it. I'll leave you shortly. Can everyone in this place rise? Lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus, for your love. No, thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for caring for us so much. Thank you for giving us all things that pertains to life and godliness. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so. That's your love song to your lover. I'll leave you with that. Before I took a breath. You breathe your life. Think about what you are saying. You have been so, so kind to me. You will sing it again. Think about it. Any word we say without meaning doesn't make sense. Why to? Why spoke a word? You were. The lyric is Nana. What are you looking at me? You have been so, so good. You have been. You are talking to your lover now. You're not talking to me. Before I took a breath, oh. You bring, you bring your life in me. Say, you are.
said you are his chosen, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. No, did you know about that before you were born? What was the word there? So when I say rejoice, just to get, wait, wait, wait. I don't like people that like, I don't know if it's the chair that is your problem. When I say rejoice, maybe should we check the dictionary for the meaning of rejoice? What is rejoice? No, don't see. I don't like people that when I ask questions, they want to answer in English. What is rejoice? <laughs> You know, you know, you think you are rejoicing for me. But the same Holy Ghost is still here. You don't understand. You just sang a song. If you meant it, rejoicing should not be asked from you. If you understood what they did for you while you were yet a sinner, when they tell you to rejoice and bless him, you don't think it. They don't tell you. You break into singing. You break into rejoicing. You break into dancing. You break into measurement. You break. You break. You break.